In this lesson, I will introduce how to install Linux Mint initially from the Windows operating system. Let's toggle over to our desktop and open up our browser. In this case, I'm going to use the Chrome browser. If I go to search for it, I'll see that it's right here. So let's click on that, open up Chrome. Now this will work with any browser. My browser is open up to Google and we're going to type in Linux Mint to find the web page. And here we'll go to the download page. Now in this case, I'm going to install Linux Mint 17, and I'm looking specifically for a 64-bit version. Here I'll choose Linux 64-bit, click over to the page, and choose a download mirror. We'll try this Nexus, and we'll go ahead and let Linux Mint download, and when it's finished, we'll create a bootable USB drive and go ahead and install it. Now that we have the Linux Mint ISO downloaded and placed in our Windows operating system, there's one more application that we will need to download to create a bootable USB drive. Now there's a number of applications that can do this, but the one I like to use is called UNET Bootin. UNET Bootin. Let's go ahead and navigate to that site. Here, click on UNET Downloads. And let's download the UNET Bootin application, which will allow us to create a USB bootable drive for Windows. This is available usually from SourceForge. And this downloads very quickly. It'll be available in our downloads directory here shortly. Now that UNET Bootin has been successfully downloaded and placed into our Windows download directory, let's navigate over there, show in folder by right clicking. Expand this window out, and we see we have UNET Bootin sitting right here. We have the Linux Mint 17 Cinnamon ISO. Now, a couple of ways of installing this would be to right-click on this and just burn the image to a DVD and boot from the DVD. But I like to boot from a USB stick, and so we're going to use the UNET Bootin application to create a bootable USB stick from the downloaded ISO file right here. So let's start UNET Bootin. Let's double click UNET Bootin, allow the user account control to allow this application to run and we'll maximize our screen. Now UNET Bootin here allows us to select a distribution and a version if we choose to go that route and it will actually download it and create the bootable USB from the download distribution. But we already downloaded the disk image so we're gonna select this option down here and navigate to the download directory. Here we find the Linux Mint 17 Cinnamon 64-bit ISO. I'm gonna select this and open. Here we have it shown as a path here to the ISO file. UNET Bootin will default the type to USB drive. And in this case, I happen to have the USB drive designated in Windows as drive E. This all looks good, let's click OK. Now UNET Bootin will extract and start copying the files and this will take some time. Just about finished and we'll install the bootloader, complete our installation of the bootable USB drive. There we go, we are finished. Let's exit here. And at this point we should be able to boot the Linux Mint operating system from the USB drive that we just created.